Okay, thank you, Tim. There are new developments tonight in the search for Charles Dreyer, a fugitive who's been on the run since last week. The former Marine is accused of child rape in Stevens County, Oklahoma. Yesterday, after getting a tip, authorities searched wooded areas around Sealy. Tonight, after even more tips, they're searching in Fort Bend County near the town of Wallace. Eyewitness News reporter Christine Dobbin is there live. Christine, what's the latest? Well, Dave, they have focused their search on the Wallace area throughout the day. And even as the sun set tonight, they believed that Dyer could possibly still be in this area. We have some pictures to show you. Just as the sun was setting, a lot of investigators making their way through many dusty back roads, uh, particularly the Guyler Road area, where they were searching with bloodhounds tracking a possible scent believing that Charles Dyer had been in the area at some point today. Uh, they followed since that they say dogs did pick up uh, earlier today. We talked with Greg Hatton and his brother who believe they saw Dyer. They say the man they saw definitely matched the description. And my older brother had him there. He was knocking on his window. And then when I pulled up, and for example, I called, well, at first I called him. I said, well, if, that, if that's him, hold him. If that's the guy we're looking for, hold him. But where, where we have, where we always are, and we can still hunt licensed carry. And he had him right in the point there that he took off running. And when he took off running, he ran across this track here. Like I was saying, he ran, he ran across this track, went to my neighbor's house and asked him for a ride. And Hatton says he asked for a ride to Houston. Now, Hatton also says he saw something black on him. Yet he's not quite sure if he actually was carrying a weapon or not. But the FBI has said they do believe Dyer could be armed and very dangerous. If you believe you see him, you should call 911 immediately. Reporting live in Wallace, Christine Dobbin, 13 Eyewitness News.